Hello! In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys five things you probably didn't know about Flip a Clip. I've been using Flip a Clip for years, and I think it's one of the best iPad animation apps out there. Uh, although Ibis Paint did release animation features, so now I really have to put those two to the test. I'll be making a video comparing them soon. But for now, I'm just going to share some things that I personally didn't know for a long time and just recently found out and hopefully it can help you guys to make your animations even better so let's get into it so the first thing is you can change your ui your user interface you can change it from light mode to dark mode and you can even change your accent color which is really nice I mess with the aesthetic a little bit depending on your mood it's super easy to do all you do is go up to your three lines here your settings you go to your app settings and it's right there at the top underneath appearance and while we're here we'll go over the second thing which is you can now make time-lapse uh, process videos of your animations in flip a clip which is really amazing you scroll down here it's underneath stage and it's the last thing and you just have to turn it on and you can change the recording frame rate uh, I just leave it at 20, I believe that's the default anyway, so that's usually fun. And to save the time lapse, you just press and hold, and you see this little, looks like a pie with a bite taken out of it. You press that, and you can press share time lapse recording, and that's super easy. The third thing is double tap to select. Now, if you're in flip a clip, and you go to your lasso tool, let's say you want to select everything in frame, so instead of drawing a selection around it all you have to do is double tap the lasso tool and it will immediately select everything on that layer in that frame which is really convenient i find myself using it a lot more than you would think number four which i think is honestly the biggest uh, thing i've found out is that they have blending modes and clipping masks if you're familiar with digital art at all you know that blending modes are amazing especially the overlay blending mode when you open it it'll give you a little warning saying it might affect how fast your app moves how fast it performs but that's why it's probably a step you want to save till the end of your process like after you've already animated everything go in at the end and uh, add your blending modes or use your clipping mask and the final thing is you can export your animation as a transparent PNG image sequence, which is really good if you want to add your own background. All you have to do is go to make movie like normal, and you change the format from MP4 to PNG sequence, and then you just make sure that you have transparent background selected, and it's gonna save the files as individual images with transparent backgrounds, and you can just easily go into your editing program of choice add whatever background you please, and cut the images together into an animation once again. Hey guys, future me here. I recorded this video uh, middle of last year, so uh, some things about Flip a Clip have changed. They've put a lot of stuff behind a paywall now. It wasn't like that when I recorded this video. So to save a time lapse of your animation, you have to watch an ad or you could subscribe to their monthly subscription service that they have now. They did not used to have this. And I mean, I understand they have to keep the lights on. It is a free app still. So it's not a super bad thing, but just some of the features such as the transparent PNG sequence, the time lapse, and then few little things like the brushes and stuff like that. And the clipping mask layers, like there's a limit to how many of them you can use it's just behind either an ad or a paywall. So keep that in mind moving forward. So those are the five things about Flip a Clip that you probably didn't know. Did you know these things? Did you recently find out about them? Let me know in the comments. Did this video help you at all? And will you still be using Flip a Clip even though Ibis Paint now has an animation capability? Are you staying true? Are you switching over? Let me know. Thank you guys for watching, subscribe, like, and check out some of my other videos. You might like them.